Everybody, it's Teller here at Chessie Champs. Checking team number 5940. Brad, an amazing performance this season. Uh, Roebling Division champions. You actually got your first regional win this year as well, too, which was, I, I couldn't believe it when you told me that, by the way. You went from 2019, where you weren't even picked one. Now you're division champions on Einstein this year. Phenomenal performance. By the way, I'm here with uh, Max and Chris, and we're going to focus on some key features of this robot, talking about uh, their awesome intakes that they have, talking about some color sorting, we'll show up their climber, all this and more coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for first teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud Cat apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows, where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com first. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. So Max, let's start out on your robot. You guys have the really cool uh, double super wide intakes. What's gone into that and uh, how did you even come up with utilizing this type of design for your robot? Yeah, so actually we've done a ton of iteration as far as the intake and ball path goes. Uh, if you want to drop an intake, uh, initially during week one, initially during week one, we had a single intake design kind of like 2910 where we tried to do the two plate style construction method. And as the season went on, we realized that two intakes was going to make autos significantly easier with our six ball drive-by auto that we announced, uh, I think week two. Um, moving into the intakes, we use uh, mechnum wheel uh, vectoring, which I would not recommend to other teams in the future. Okay. However, it did prove pretty reliable through 20 iterations. Um, we have 30.5 inch wide intakes, which I think with two of them is the most linear intake of any FRC robot. Um, moving into our gut, this is where our most innovation was, uh, both on the software and the mechanical side. We have both pass-through and color sorting, um, and all of it is done through single-sided belts so that we can either select to move the ball through after sensing it or move it up and store it. So here we'll show our vectoring. Yeah. But it shoots it right back out on the other end. Super yeah. efficient on that. I, I love that. Uh, so no matter if that's the first ball or second ball, it's always just going to be able to pass that through right away because uh, you're pulling one up no matter what, right? Yeah, we've also never had to use this strategy, but we do have the code set up to do what we call mean, where we can intentionally accept only the wrong color ball and then strategically spit them out in different places on the field. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Um, so you mentioned your six ball auto. I saw you guys last match were able to do that. Have you tried any defensive autos at all with your with your color sorting? Yeah, so in, in regionals, uh, champs, and now Chessy, we've been using a now three ball, two defensive auto where we pick up all five balls and then disperse the two wrong color balls into the truss. Um, we're going to uh, kind of, like I said, we'll mention some few highlights of this row. We're not going to cover every single every single part of it. But, uh, Chris, I, I do want to talk about some of the programming that's gone into your robot and what you've been able to utilize, too. So talk to me about uh, what's been working best for your team and how you went about it. Yeah, so the goal of software was to make driving uh, as easy for the driver as possible. So this entire intake and ball serialization system is only controlled with two buttons, an intake left and an intake right button. And essentially, we have a bunch of states that the robot could be in. And those states are uh, transitioned based on sensors. So we have a beam brake on the top to detect when the red ball is up. And we have a color sensor and a beam brake on the bottom to do uh, color sensing and you know, eject the wrong colored balls and also uh, know when a ball is there. And you guys will be able to do some shooting on the move as well, too. Talk to me more about that. Yeah, so uh, shooting on the move was something that we added in between our second regional and Worlds because we saw if you have like a cluster of balls, it just makes it a lot more efficient. Essentially what we do for shooting on the move is we construct a new target based on the robot's velocity. We call it a virtual target. And uh, this, for example, if we're driving directly towards the target, we'll uh, move the target you know, closer to us and uh, make our shot. Let's start to wrap up on your robot. Let's talk about your uh, climbing mechanism. Uh, I saw your climber last match really efficient, able to get up quite quickly. So talk to me about what's gone into it and if we can uh, maybe just talk about the climber sequence a little bit too. Yeah, so for the climber, we have a belted climber. Um, we went with this because uh, some, we had issues with CF springs uh, last year. 
We have these static hooks for when we get on a rung. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty, easy, and we also have um, pistons to move it back and forth. So I can go ahead and demo it for you and uh, walk through the stages. So uh, first of all, we turn off our shooter. Uh, and we have the shooter idling during the match. Um, and the first thing that we do is go up to the mid rung. Uh, and then we move, drive forward, come down on the mid rung, pop up a little bit. Then we'll extend back and go on to the high rung. And then finally, we have that hook in the back. So we'll go up all the way and then we'll get on the traversal rung with that uh, second hook in the back. And uh, yeah. There, we're, we're on the traversal. I really like the uh, belting that you've uh, done here as well, too. When you were uh, considering, like, you know, we see some teams use pneumatics, some teams use, uh, you know, just uh, uh, gear and chain, that sort of thing like that, or sprocket and chain. Uh, how did you figure out that this was the best one? Do you have to worry about slippage or anything like that for it, too? Uh, no, so actually we do have a tensioner on the bottom. However, um, we've resulted to just skipping the belts once they stretch and sure. to make them tighter. Uh, this is actually almost a carbon copy of Poof's 2013. We saw a blog post. Yeah. Yeah. You got a lot of the good inspiration from that as well. Well, Brett, I, I really got to compliment you. Your team has looked absolutely phenomenal this year, so I can't wait to see what you bring in future years as well, too. And, of course, good luck here at Chessie Champs as well. Thanks a lot for taking the time. Thank, Thank you. you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker's commitment to medical device technology innovation has made it a top career destination for those in FIRST. FIRST alumni and mentors are given top priority in their internship and career applications. Come create the next medical innovation that saves lives at careers.stryker.com. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for FIRST teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud CAD apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.